Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Monster Hunter World Iceborne livestream. We're back on the PlayStation 4. We were playing yesterday, actually no, today, this morning, at like 4 a.m. in the morning. And we're back on now at 5 p.m. after I've had a good rest. So we're back at it, and I'm on the same build. This is like a vampire build, but I want it to be real survivable. So we have a few tasks to do today. I think the most important one will be getting the longsword augmented for health regen. I think that's going to be really important. And then just continuing to make this build as survivable as possible so that I get a really clear understanding of how much health regen we can accomplish. And, uh, you know, this is going to be my examination of defense in Monster Hunter because I think this gets ignored a lot by people who make YouTube videos and people who, you know, do a lot of teaching in the game. They typically tell you, you know, don't bother with the defense, but... Uh, I actually do want to bother with defense and know everything about it. So these aren't damage builds. These are defense builds. That's my whole point. All right, let's go ahead and get started. If you guys want to help me out, be sure to leave a like on the stream. Okay. Woo. I hope you guys appreciate me streaming at this time. It was either stream with you guys or hang out with my wife, and I chose you guys. So if you want to show your appreciation, again, leave a like so that I can take my wife out to dinner. <laughs> when, I, when I get... Ten dollars from ad revenue, right? So, I think we're going to the guiding lands, right? Let's find out what we need for augmentations. TGC, my console broke. Oh no! Should have bought a PC, man. PlayStation economist, what? Whoa, what are we doing here? Oh, okay. Oh, right. So we need a shadow core ore for our grit charm, and. Augment equipment for Safi Zep Venom Blade. If we want the health region augmentation, we need Tempered Transhide and Guiding Reef Dragon Bone. Okay. The extra slots, we need Extinction Great Horn. We'll add these to the wish list. Okay, so it's off to the Guiding Lands. We already have this build set up pretty strongly. Vitality, recovery, potential. We're going to drop one of these and replace it with geology. Where's geology? Is, is it back here? Hard geology. Alright, perfect. And we are off. Tempered Namiel says, Wellix. Thanks, Wellix. That's why I was thinking as well. Woo! Can I see your spread heavy bowgun, says Nicolas. Um, I probably don't have a very good spread heavy bowgun build on the PlayStation. But we could certainly put one together. Uh, maybe what I'll do is a defensive spread heavy bowgun build down the down the line. So Namiel and Guiding Lands Coral. What? You only need level three. More don't give more defense. Just attack up to fifteen percent. What is he talking about? Are you talking about heroics? I think he might be talking about heroics. How's it going, Thumper World? <laughs> yep, I'm back at it. After this, we might do a card stream, too. So, that's my whole Friday evening. My whole Friday. And then I will work all night. Calling it now cause of death, the lack of sleep. Well, actually, you know, the funny thing is, I think that probably also sitting too much will contribute. Because <laughs> I sit a lot for this job. It's a ton of sitting. Stream here, stream the card channel, work on a work on a video, edit. A lot of sitting. Tell me your thoughts on Safishiba. Someone say card stream? You know what I think we'll do? I think we'll have two hours of Monster Hunter, and then maybe we'll start up Resident Evil 6. You guys want to do that maybe? Resident Evil 6. I think my wife had a lot of fun playing Resident Evil 5 with me, so 
I've never played 6. I don't know if it's any good. I've heard that it's not that good. Uh, but if you guys can't recommend any other co-op game, then probably Resident Evil 6. Now let's go ahead and have a meal. I kind of feel bad for her. She's not hanging out with me right now. How's it going, Saul Cruz? Saul Cruz, you're always in the live streams. Actually, Saul Cruz is always in the live streams. I'm gonna make you a mod. What do you think of that? You're a mod now. Oh wait, we don't want to go out here. You help me on one of your streams. Oh, very cool, man. We're going to choose Lure Out Monster. Namiel. Buy a power cage and do some basic compound lifts three times a week to stay strong. I need to do exactly what you just said. <laughs> but you should see, we live in a small condo. There's not a lot of room. Um, I wasn't going to buy exercise equipment. I never did. Saw Cruz is like me. <laughs> okay, so we're luring out Namiel. And we need to go over here. And start gathering bones, because we, we need a dragon bone from, from the coral area. Saul Cruz is like, that's too much power, man. He's going to go crazy. He's going to go crazy with power. <laughs> you know what we need to do on my PlayStation account? Unlock all of the Raider Riders. You know, I was going to make a guide on how to unlock all the Raider Riders. I have the commentary. I gave it to, uh, I gave it to an editor to work on, and he's like, nah, I don't want to work on that. <laughs> And I guess he never did, and so I never worked on it either. So I just have like a commentary just sitting around having not been used. So maybe I'll go grab that commentary and get to work on it myself. Barely anyone does something bad, says God Terror Boy. Well, Excuba says, I'm glad you're enjoying the save wizard. Yeah, it's really nice. Look at that. You played too much. 999 lures from any monster? Maybe an exploit. Nah, I, I definitely earned all of those. I'm gonna kidnap a stray cat and name it Jim. How about every time you cart it equals five burpees? The last thing I've seen is a mod mute someone for no reason. What? <laughs> oh, here we go. Look at this. Who thought it was a good idea to delete best box on the Discord? Prejudice Dastards. Well, the whole reason you guys had a best box emoji is because the Xbox chat was the most uh, populated chat. It was the most active, and it hasn't been that way for a while, actually. In fact, the most active chat in the Discord for a while has been PC. So, if anything, if we have an emoji for a specific console, it should probably be the PC. Now, what we could do is we could create an emoji for all three of the, or all four of the consoles, Nintendo included. So, we could do something like that so that everyone gets one. Or we could have it be based on activity again. But what I've done instead is... Uh, what I've done instead is now the channel with the most activity gets the trophy next to it, right? So if you guys go into the Discord server right now and you look up the PC channel, it has a little trophy next to it. So I think that's actually cooler because it kind of signals everyone what's going on rather than being an emoji. Yeah, there were some changes in the Discord, uh, everyone who's listening. What I did was I deleted a ton of emojis. They have been... Uh, Thanos snapped right out of existence and the reason for that isn't because I don't like emojis I actually really like emojis we want to work on making ours more unified and uh, popular so that everyone actually uses them we don't just have a bunch of dead emojis laying around in the server doing nothing and uh, I want everyone to be more involved in the creation of them so that people feel like yeah this is the one I wanted so there's a lot of things going on with that King Ding says play Dunless. nah PC makes the most sense because it's easier to have up while playing the game. What? <laughs> PC stinky race. <laughs> yeah, PC players, I think they're really enjoying Iceborne. Um, you know, I noticed when PC launched, all my videos, like my guides, got a pretty significant bump in viewership, which we kind of expected that, right? But it was much larger than I thought it would be. It, it was almost like they doubled, actually. 
Uh, and I was really surprised by that. I was like, what? Here she is, Namio, or he. He, she, who cares? <laughs> Don't you love it when they fall down like that? Wait, his head's not weird. I clawed it three times. Oh, I didn't use a weapon attack. I used um, claw attacks. That's what's going on. I'm so dumb. There we go. I'm dumb. Time to beat up on this guy. Whoop. Ah, we didn't reach him. Well, this water blight is definitely going to make our Max Might useless. That was something I was thinking about last night when we were done with the stream. I was thinking about how Max Might really only works with the longsword setup in this case, and it wouldn't translate very well to other weapons like the greatsword or the hammer. So I want to try and change this build to get rid of the Nergigante uh, helmet. So you can see we're taking a lot of damage, uh, but we're also healing a lot of damage, and this is because of the design of the build. We have the Recovery speed, we have D Divine Blessing, we have Super Recovery, and we have Nergigante Hunger. That's a lot of defensive skills all together, and uh, that's the whole point. Oh man, he did hit me. We're about to lose our... I think we got him. Nope. Come on, man. I gotta get rid of this. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's not gonna matter. We're too slow. Come on, come on, come on! We got it! <laughs> He's not doing anything. Let's keep chopping up on him. We need parts softened. Nice. He didn't do anything. All right. <laughs> We're supposed to be gathering these materials, by the way. We're being pretty dumb about that. Were there any we left down here? No. They all expired. People still playing Skyrim is definitely not the vanilla game, so it isn't a stretch to think mods boost longevity and interest in the game. Coalescence, best thing. TCE is the armor maxed out. Uh, the armor is maxed out in this case, which isn't normal. So if I was on Xbox, I wouldn't bother with the resources to max out the armor. But the other thing I noticed is maxing out the armor gives us probably about... 70 to 80 more defense, I'd say. And although it's not insignificant, it's also not crazy good either. It's not going to be like the most defense ever. Alright, let's get back to attacking. Wow, don't you hate that?
KO'd again. I have a feeling Raging Bracadios is going to be easy, but Furious Rajang will make me cry on the inside. I don't know. We'll have to see. If they made both of the monster fights about as difficult as Extreme Behemoth, I would be very impressed with them making that move, and I would be very satisfied, but I suspect it will be more like a dra Elder Dragon fight. Oh, and she was. I only fought Rajang a couple times because he's straight up not fun. Well, that's why we're working on these builds, because, you know, one of the nice things about having a defensive build is... It removes a lot of the frustration of having a fight. You know, having to worry about being one-shotted, trying your hardest. It actually removes all that. You just kind of go through and beat up on the monster pretty easily. Oh, come on, man. Alright, there we go. God damn, dude. You're just always water blighted with this guy. Bruh. X boners rise up. <laughs> Dan fainted. I probably should have stood in that to see what would happen. Should have shot that sooner. Do you forgot health augment or just simple not picked it? And if yes, why? Uh, I need the health regen augmentation. That's what we're working on right now, silly. I mean, that's why we're fighting a tempered Namiel in the Guiding Lens. Think about it. That's why you fight a tempered Namiel in the Guiding Lens. PS4, more like PS4. Got him! Alright, we soften the tail. About to lose our. We're gonna lose it. Ah oh, man, we did lose it. Son of a bitch, man. Don't you hate it when you lose your gauge, even though you didn't do anything with the gauge that you had? It's because he moved to a new area. hit the wrong button there. <laughs> God, I love Temporal Mantle. It's so easy. Alright, Temporal Mantle's gone. Wow, dude, that's so annoying. Freaking tail wagging all over the place. Should we move this real fast? That didn't interrupt him. I noticed nobody's keeping him soft. Like, I've kept the tail soft, but like, the other parts of his body mostly have not been soft. I feel like that's a big problem in multiplayer. Because the monster scaled up, but then if people aren't doing their part of softening up the parts of the body you would expect them to, then you're playing with a monster that probably should be softened to account for all the extra damage. It's just a case that people don't like to use the, the uh, claw. Obviously, nobody likes to use the claw, but that doesn't mean you skip using it because it's too important to skip. Let's grab these Namiel materials. That's what we're actually here for.
Temper hide, temper hide. Elder spirit rainbow. Huh, I didn't interrupt him twice. That's interesting. Nice job shooting them out of the air with the flash. Always keep them soft. That's right. Me trying to get a single clutch claw is like me trying to get a life. What? Yeah, we gotta get away to, to get the uh, Max Might off of this build. Max Might's not active enough. I think what we can do is we can trade out the Nergigante skill for the... What do they call it? We can trade it out for the... Well, I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll, we'll take a look at it when we come back. One thing I love about using Hammer now is how natural it is to soften parts while doing DPS. Oh yeah, nobody's been knocking him into walls either, huh. That still hit me. Wow, that has so much range to it. I was hoping I would be far enough away from the body if I aimed it toward the tail. It's exhausted. Ruin. How's this fight taking so long, too? I don't understand. Is nobody else doing damage? I, I thought people were, like, procking Fortify and everything. I mean, I know I'm doing less damage than if I'd taken a full damage build, but it's not like I'm not over here landing hits the entire fight. I'm, I'm doing damage the entire time. So we were going slow for some reason. mounted he's been mounted whoa is he been mounted i thought he was mounted oh no 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 that was just in my mind <laughs> i was almost done with being stunned anyways oh 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 and i still got hit by it so heroics activated huh look at that Dan! No! Dan's the horn user. I don't think I have flash pods. Let's have this Nullberry. Is Stygian Heavy Bowgun worth it if I don't have any regulars and ogre materials? Um, I would say not to worry a great deal about it, because right after Zenogre launches, you get you get uh, Safajiva, and with the Safajiva, you'll go after the Burst Cannon Heavy Bowgun, and that'll give you the best... Oh, God damn it! where am I? The Burst Cannon Heavy Bowgun is going to give you the best damage for spread ammo on a bowgun. Well, it says you missed a donation. Really? I didn't even hear it. CJ says, for the auction. Oh, okay. Thank you very much, CJ. CJ was uh, paying for something. My bad. Is my volume... Oh, my volume's turned all the way down. All right, I turned my volume back up. Sorry about that. <laughs> King Dank says, no sniffing feet on my watch. Make it last longer and I'll be happy doing it every two minutes. Gets tedious. What? What are you talking about? Let's 
Let's run up here. Alright, Coral Highlands are very close to getting the uh, giant bones or whatever. Nice. Why do you main hunting horn? Hunting horn mains, because I know the rest of you are too incompetent to survive. Jump. Damn it. <laughs> I couldn't cheat in time. It was the same deal. I couldn't cheat in time. Oh, oh, and he slayed. I was going to say, we can test out heroics here. When does Safajiva return? I've heard that Safajiva returns March 5th. Oh, why is it not collecting? That's weird. It did that twice. Alright, so I think we got enough of those materials. We really need that bone, though. Get it to spawn in by gathering bone pops. How many hours you have in the game? I have 560. I think between all three platforms, I have, think I'm pretty sure... I think I have about 4,000. I think I have about 4,000. Do we have a lobby ID? Yeah, we do. Are we full, by the way? We're not full. There's a little bit of room. Bob says, Heroics 5 versus Defense Boost 7. I don't think you have to have them be versus each other. I think that if your only goal is to raise your defense, you would probably pair them together, actually. Doesn't that make sense? There we go. Giant Bone Pile emerged. Where did it emerge? Probably going to be down here. I liked you when you were a baby. What? Are my cats fighting with each other? <laughs> I'm watching them fight. They're too funny. Alright, there's the Guiding Reef Dragon Bone. Let's get out of here. We got the Health Regen 1 coming in. Sweet. So that fight took what felt like 25 minutes. Ugh. Ugh. Just really a long time. Warped face stones. Nami a lash. Does heroic's defense bonus proc before or after the percent defense bonuses from defense up? I don't know. Uh, God Terror Boy says, let us see those kitties fight. What are your cat's names? Uh, I call them the same name. I call them both kitty. I don't have a... Sometimes I denote them by the color of their fur. So white kitty and gray kitty. I don't actually call them names. I'm terrible with cat names. Actually, I don't really care what my character's named either. Acidic Glavinous Maximum Might Secret worth it? No, I don't... I personally don't think it's worth it. Does Defense Augmentation 1 have the Divine Blessing perk? I believe it does. I believe it has built-in Divine Blessing. However, one of the things I've never understood is whether that stacks with Divine Blessing or if it's... Uh, I don't understand exactly how it works, like how the mechanism works. If it was really powerful, I'd use it, though, for defense builds, for sure.
run over here. So all of that was so that we can get an augmentation on the sword. Sweet. <laughs> Now, as for the question of the armor set, I feel like we should get the armor swapped around to get rid of... I feel that we should get rid of, um... Max Might. I'm like, um, um, um... <laughs> um. What can we put in the helmet slot? Divine Blessing in the helmet slot would work. Golden Loon. Health boost poison attack? Actually, that's funny. But this right here probably would be good. And then what about... Oops. What about the legs for... So I don't own the legs. I would need a Bazagu's mantle. Earplugs, huh? That's not actually that useful. Yeah, earplugs is not not useful here. I don't intend to build earplugs. So this is what we're using. Those two levels of max might would not be helpful. But on the flip side, two levels of earplugs isn't useful either. I know that we can't really do vow legs either because vow legs are just going to be a fluvial resist. Huh? Maybe this is the best build then for for getting all of these skills together. trying to think of what else we could do well how about uh we can have these arms these are nice also the coil's not bad either More useful than two levels of earplugs, anyways, having two levels of attack boost. So, if this was Nergi Coil, let's try it. And now, what we need is a Great White Variant Gem, which we can get with the Elder Melder. Is there no Elder Melder in the. There's no Elder Melder here, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Is there no Elder Melder up here? That's the stock supply guy. That's where you get your quests. Yeah, I don't think there's an Elder Melder up here. Oh, man, I can't believe we have to do this. We have to return to the central area. So what are we doing? We're giving up the helmet, the um, Nergigante helmet, because we found that it's not that useful. Maximum Might does not actually stay active enough. How's it going, Tusk? There's an Elder Melder in the Celiana, but not in the hub. Oh, interesting. Saber says, what weapon would be best if you were to build strong defense build? I think if you want to talk about the absolute best weapon for defense, you have to talk about the Gun Lance at this point. Yeah. Gun lance, maybe the heavy bow gun. Those two. What's the easiest monster for farming great spirit vein gems? Um, I think it's any tempered elder dragon in the guiding land. So just pick the one that you don't mind fighting. Probably I would avoid Lunastro. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and talk. Meld items. This is what we needed, a large wyvern wyvarian gem. Sweet.
Golden, Wraith, Golden Rathian Waste is too good to give up for the build. Golden Wrath Rathian Waste is too good to give up for build. You might be right. Man, you might be right. It is a really good coil, isn't it? Let's go ahead and craft the helmet for Gold Rathian anyways. Yeah, it is a really good waste. I agree. I mean, it's not that hard to build Divine Blessing, though. Hey, TGC. Been a while. How have you been? And is there any space? How's it going, Toxic? There might be space. Let me update this snack fund for you. Thank you for, for that donation. That was really kind of you. And let me check real fast. Check and see if there's more room. I think there's room. Yeah, it says there's room for two. You might be able to get in if you're fast. <laughs> it's Golden Loon Helm, huh? So, here's the deal. You're right in saying that the, the Lunastra Coil is better than the Nergigante coil. However, if you consider that the two levels of Max Might, let's say that they're wasted, you do pick up two levels of health boost on the Golden Loon Helm. So it's very close, I guess, is my point. It's very close. I need a minute to think about it. <laughs> it's so close. So we either have Max Might on Ruinous Helm, or we get two slots for Health Boost in on Golden Loon Helm, which I prefer that, but then there's a trade-off in the Coil slot. And the trade-off is three levels of Divine Blessing and, and a medium decoration slot rather than a small decoration slot, versus two levels of Attack Boost, which we don't really need Earplugs, which we also don't really need. I feel that attack boost is more valuable, at least, than two levels of max might. But the thing is, is it really that much more valuable? And then I think, technically, Divine Blessing is more efficient than the Golden Loon Helm. The, the Golden Loon Coil is more efficient, because you're getting that third level, and maybe the medium decoration slot is useful. Yeah, I think we'll actually go back. Damn. A fell shroud. We can't really do much with the fell shroud. This is about as efficient as you get for. Come on, man. There we go. Because you're getting recovery speed with the chest, and you're getting the recovery up with the arms. This might be as best as we can do. Ah, darn. I was born in the New World, says Safajivo. What? Divine Blessing, Health Boost, Recovery at Recovery Speed, Crit Boost, Weakness Exploit, Heroics. Let's go ahead and see if we can upgrade Heroics. That reminds me. That reminds me. Right, we're still missing the Shadow Core Ore. Let's work on that next. All right, so I need Shadow Core Ore is is uh, what I'm grinding for at this point. Excuse me. So.
So here you can see we have Divine Blessing Secret, Super Recovery, and Hasten Recovery, all three of these. And together, these three skills are making this build super duper healy, like you heal very quickly. And then you don't even take that much damage either, because Divine Blessing Secret. Um, and you can see the skills here. I suppose we don't need Geologist anymore. pick that up I guess <laughs> I mean I don't really it doesn't really matter in the end either way we could drop this and if we're gonna drop that what would we take in its place maybe agitator just challenger none of these are really gonna help all right we'll just pick up another challenger for agitator Five box Basil. Is Basil considered tier three? I think he is, right? Make a playstyle tier list now. It says King Dank. Hmm. That's an interesting idea. You can use some of your excess gems at the Melder for new gems you don't have on this save. Yeah, I know. Nergigante likes to rap, says, I can't seem to find your session. Hmm, it's probably full. I'm gonna go ahead and ready up. Why is your stream slower than when I'm in your game? There's always a little bit of stream lag, we can wolf. This is very normal. Ah, I'm stretching. The reason that that occurs is because basically when you're streaming something with like 1080p graphics, uh, what will happen is the stream software will slowly send out all of the information over the internet in order to display it on your screen. And that's what keeps the quality of the stream high. Now if you wanted to do much lower quality like 480p, then it could be real time. Like when I talk, you would immediately hear me talk. But uh, there has to be some buffering time in order for higher quality graphics. Hope that makes sense. So like when you're using something, when you're using like a uh, discord to talk to each other, that's a sort of, uh, that's a sort of connection between two people where I think it's called a lossy connection. Uh, forgive me if I'm wrong on that. But basically, it's a style of connection that doesn't really worry about the quality of what you hear in the, the voice chat. What's most important is that you hear the voice chat in real time. The live stream for the Pokemon cards is just like that. Pokemon cards, it doesn't really matter. Uh, what Basically, you two will select real time over high quality. And I don't, I don't actually like that. I wish it was high quality because that makes it more rewatchable later. <laughs> but uh, there's no setting on YouTube for me to change it from, uh, you know lossy lossy streaming to lossless streaming i think it's lossy and lossless is that right could be wrong about that i thought shadow core or drops only at tempered elder dragon it drops for tier three monsters is a better explanation tier three monsters and i think that they're correct in knowing that basil uses tier three i believe i've heard that before I just have never tested it. So he's probably up in his nest, but I'm going to be checking over here. Just want to say, love your content, and you're great for the community. Oh, thank you very much, Mason. I think Capcom t thinks so. They keep, um, they like to send me tips on what videos they'd like me to make, and they will often share content with me early. Weekend Wolf says lossless sounds right. Running this way. All right. Yes, Basil is T3. Perfect. So tier three should give us a chance for Shadow Core Ore. And he is up in his nest. 
I really need to unlock all the uh, Raider Riders on PlayStation. Bowser Gear is more like big piece of booty. I hate fighting that turd. Yeah, he's a pretty long fight. He has a lot of health. Imagine not having softened the monster. Are you guys crazy? Oh wait, they did. They softened the tail. I should shut up. <laughs> I just couldn't see it. <laughs> good job, good job, good job. <laughs> do I have enough? I don't think I do. Nah, I don't. I only like science. I don't believe in God. <laughs> He's so tall, he's so high up off the ground. Here, I want to get the T3. Or, Spirit Gauge 3. How does Stygia and Zenoga get up here? What the frick? get the tier 3 up. No, I can't get it off of him either. God. That's annoying. Oh my god, the whole directional thing is so bad. I wasn't even on his, on his face. Terrible gameplay, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's still not leaving. I shot like four stinkies at him. Wow, he's not leaving. God, I hate multi-monster fights. They're the dumbest thing ever. Oh my god, dude. Let's get down there. <laughs> I didn't think he was going to go that way. Just got here. What defensive setup is this one? We're still working on our like super health revive setup. The one with we just got super we just got health regen on it for the first time on the weapon augment. Got him. Wow! This game is trolling me. It's like, no, you don't get to. I'm never gonna reach Spirit Gauge 3. It's not possible. This game does not want me to. Alright, he's going in the trap. Perfect. Good job on the- I'm actually gonna reach T3 finally, guys. Can you believe it? Did I say T3 again? I meant to say Spirit Gauge 3. Unbelievable. We only just now reached it. And then he moved away. Oh my god! I'm about to freak out, everyone. I don't have enough. Oh 
Oh, I actually reached him. Oh, but the second hit didn't reach him. Got him because of the knockdown, luckily. Bruh! Probably should have gone for the tail instead of the head. Man, triple knockdowns, huh? Go ahead and start softening up the head. I tried to actually tank through those. <laughs> Like, maybe I can time this right. Oh, that missed. So basically, if this build works, it will also work for Switch Axe, and it will work for uh, the Hammer, most likely. And the, maybe even, well, I don't want to say the Great Sword, actually. Maybe the Insect Glaive. Is it going to go underneath? Where is it going to go? Longsword really be like that though. The monster make pigeon noises. I like watching your videos and Jinx the math guides. Does quick sheath affect elemental slash? Does sheath affect elemental slash? Hmm, I don't think it does. Oh no. I'm dead. <laughs> now I'm good. <laughs> wow, he really pauses with that move up in the air, doesn't he? Alright, you reset that. Darn, if I knew he was attacking, I could have used the, uh... <laughs> He's moving too much. What? Stygian and Ogre's back. Alright, it's gonna be Roar Central, everyone. Did you? I'm gonna get my <laughs> I'm gonna get my spear blade off of you. <laughs> oh my god, I hate Monster Wars so much, dude. He's dead. Okay, nice job everyone. What is Divine Secret percentage of activation? It feels pretty good, actually. Does it feel like it activates more than half the time, guys? I would say it feels like it activates more than half the time.
By the way, did it seem like my character at any point was even close to being in danger? I don't I, I don't think it felt like it was ever a point where I was in trouble. I like his setup. That's pretty cool. <laughs> 11 minutes on that fight. There it is. Shadow Core Aura right there, right? Is that it? No, I don't think that's it. That's Phantom Core. Not dark, dark enough to be Shadow Core. And none of these turn into Shadow Core, so we need to do this again. Hard tip. <laughs> There's a hard tip decoration. Alright guys, I'm getting that hard tip decoration. Don't tell my wife. <laughs> it's not cheating if it's just the tip. Ooh, I need to go plug my phone in. Let's see how the Discord is doing. Alright guys, doing face reveal in the Discord. Cursed one says, I heal a few times, just saying. English is my first language, and this confuses me. What? Silver Rathalos. Threat level three, huh? Let's get in there. I'm going to jump into that one real fast, okay? Even with Master Rank, the game too easy. That's right. I completely agree. Long distance is fine, but my me and my girlfriend are... Oh, he says, people say long distance is hard, but me and my girlfriend are doing just fine. I know, right? She's not even cheating on you. Definitely. <laughs> but me and my left hand are doing just fine. <laughs> There's a lucky cat. So one thing I have noticed is with this, if you want to call it a vampire build, um, it does struggle when you get like poisoned and you get burned, so this would be interesting. Bob Newkirk says, so quick sheath probably does, but you sheath really fast with fast with the longsword. What? We want to be up here. The Chadmiral threw me into the grinding lands and left me. Temp Nat Namiel. Did he really? That sucks. Jake Tapper says, no berries? No, just kidding. Your name's Jim. Jake Tanner. Hey, you guys want to see what's in the news? I wonder what's in the news. Her husband is okay with it. That's right. What? <laughs> Fire resistance gives three uh, gives defense, right? Yeah, it does give defense. That's not really the reason you worry about fire resist, though. In the past, we would use fire resist to help out a little bit with the defense, but also especially to help us with activating Moxie. Because Moxie would be defeated by, you know, like if you got the burn. Oh, let's go ahead and soften up the tail. Alright, the tail is soft.
All he's doing is flying. Fuck this guy. <laughs> I did not mean to do that, actually. Dan fainted! No, Dan! You know, I really don't get to use Spirit Slash very often, EI Spirit Slash. It just doesn't activate that often. Hey man, when they jump back through and like that, it can really screw you up, unfortunately. How did that miss? Man. Nice, I did hit him. Sweet. I was worried that would miss. So we are hurt. Got rid of the burn real fast. Bruh! Oh, there we go, deflecting. Sweet! Oh, that would have been so cool. That was an opportunity for the EI Spirit Slash, and I missed it because I wasn't sure if that, that was an attack on me and if it was going to land. So sad. Alright, um, so now we're poisoned. Let's go ahead and finish healing. I love that move, so cool. Bruh. I thought he was about to attack. <laughs> Whoa, he's already slayed? Oh, they had already started. They had already started. I know why he's already slayed. I only play Grey Sword in the monsters that don't stop attacking are a pain in the butt. Fights take forever because the openings don't last long and don't happen often. Any advice for the, that besides get good? Well, the solution is to get good. But I can actually give you advice on getting good. So when you're fighting a monster that is particularly vicious, you just have to attack more reactively rather than spamming. So if you're fighting something like Barrieth, you don't have to continually try to get a move on him. Just wait for an opening. Um, eventually your mantles come back too, by the way. And your mantles, when they're back, they make everything e easier. So you should have Temporal Mantle. Uh, and hopefully you have rock steady, and both of those make it much easier to deal with the monster that attacks very often. So like if you have health regen on your great sword, and you're wearing the rock steady mantle, and they're just attacking and attacking and attacking, the funny thing is you can kind of just heal up through those attacks, and eventually get the, get a stagger on them. And then when you do stagger them, you really need, need to take advantage of that. Be sure you're throwing them into walls every time that they're done being aggroed, right? So like, again, if you're just kind of being patient with the monster, eventually they're going to be ready, to, you know, they're no longer enraged and they're ready to be thrown into a wall again. 
uh, with the flint shot. So do that anytime you can. The other thing is to use traps. If but this only works on like tier two monsters, or uh, it only works on non -elder, elder dragon monsters. I should say that instead. So we still didn't get that shadow core or guys. We're gonna play another round. Um, traps. So you'll see people were using traps on Bazagus. People using traps on uh, Silver Rathalos. There, those are options. Uh, flash pods can kind of help. I'm trying to think what else. That, that's most of the that's most of the tips. Other than that, you just need to be reacting to the monster. You know, learn to use your tackle, delay your attacks. Don't just spam and uh, attack at the right time. And know know the monster's move set is another good tip. If you know the monster's move set, it's much easier to react to them. So there you go. Hopefully, all that helps. I'm going in on Rune or Gigante. Maybe he'll give me Shadow Core or Thundersteel says Ray Jang won't stop. Yeah, Ray Jang, you know, he, he is a tough one for weapons like the Great Sword because really you need him to stop running around so much. Uh, what I what I could tell you is the Great Sword actually does plenty of claw damage when you use a weapon attack from the claw. Uh, so you could grab onto him and try you know try to grab onto his booty while wearing a temporal mantle or rock steady mantle and keep him softened for the team and just you really do have to take advantage of knockdowns and maybe you can get him by a ledge and you can mount him and then if you win the mount you can throw you know that'll be a knockdown as well great swords do pretty good at ledge hopping although not as good as they used to do but yeah that's another thing to talk about is you can ledge hop to get a, a mount or two maybe up to two mounts so two mounts two wall splats put them into two traps these are all crowd control things, right? And then other than that, just wait for a, a clear opening to attack them. Remember, they drool. So when he drools, be sure to, to get him. And uh, that's everything. That's everything I could tell you. It is a little bit of get good. So keep practicing. Hey, Toxic did make it in. How's it going, Toxic? Just missed getting into the quest. Ah, Thumper World, I didn't know you were in here too. We gotta have one right after this, okay, Thumper World? I don't know whose quest this is. What is this, Dragonite? Oh, I'm sorry, Dragonite. I've gone crazy. Tempered Nergigante. I've gone crazy. <laughs> we should do one right after this. King Dank says ledge hopping is impossible now. No, not at all. Ledge hopping, it's its not as strong for the greatsword as it used to be, uh, but it's still very strong. It used to be OP for, for longsword. Let's see what's going on in the news. I'm curious. Bernie Sanders was told that Russia is trying to help his campaign. What? That's it. I'm a Bernie bro now. Bloomberg offers to release women from three confidentiality agreements. Oh, damn. United States government finds Wells Fargo $3 billion? What did they do? Ooh. For a staggering fake account scandal. Oh, that was years ago, though. Oh, yeah. So it says this has been coming on for years in the making. This is from four years ago. Wow. So they're going to pay $3 billion to the United States government and still be, it, it still be liable to being sued by employees as well. Whoa. Oh, that makes me want to buy Wells Fargo stock. Because what's going to happen is the stock's going to fall down to... The stock is going to fall down to the point that it represents what investors expect the company to earn for a while, which means, in my opinion, that the stock is going to be undervalued for just a while. Once it bottoms out, the stock is going to be a little bit undervalued, and you'll you'll experience capital gains later when the company, if the company recovers, but it probably will. It's a bank. Thumper World says, I have a few threat level 3 quests. Well, I tell you what, man. We'll get Temper Nergigante, and then I'll come join you right after this. Oh, we need, um... We need the hot drink. I'm sorry. We're going back to Central Camp. 
Don't forget to drink hot water. Yeah, I agree, actually, in this case. I don't want to run without it. I can run without it with, like, a heavy bow gun or even a hammer, but I don't want to run it without the, uh, for the, for the longsword. No way. All right, we have our hot drinks. So let's head back out there. Imagine the government fining you $3 billion. That is so much money. It's a scary amount of money if you think about it. But I mean, they broke the law, so... But damn, that's so much money. Fake bank accounts, huh? Do you guys remember why that occurred? That occurred because Wells Fargo's leadership was telling its employees that they must open up like new accounts, a certain number of new accounts or else they're going to lose their jobs is part of their job description. And because they were under all this pressure to open up the new accounts, what they decided to start doing is opening up fake accounts. And basically everyone kind of knew about it, but they let it happen anyways, because they wanted to make sure that they were meeting, you know, expectations. Uh, but this is fraud. So they're in trouble for <laughs> fraud. Really not good. Oh, nice. Sweet. <sighs> I did that too early. Oops. How do we get tremored? That damn ice floor. Ouch. Woo. I was trying so hard to spirit me. Spirit uh, Slash. I'm going to get really good at that at some point. I'm going to use it more. He's drooling. See, that's the problem with EI Slash. Like, sometimes it's just better to spam it and not try to go for something special. What? I felt it actually. I felt my controller vibrate. I was going to try and... Oh, well. Foresight Slash it. <laughs> so much for that. Nice. Wasn't sure if that would reach, but it did. Oh, that sucks. He got tripped. See, I was going to EI Spirit Slash the roar, but the roar got interrupted. That's the problem. Oh, and it's a fast roar that time. God, dude. Freaking impossible, man. I don't know. <laughs> Can't be done. All right, let's go ahead and sharpen. So who's to blame, says Thunder Steel? Uh, well, the leadership, definitely the companies, the, the owners, and the, you know, the the investors obviously will get hurt by the decisions. We better test this. Uh, but who's to blame is whoever knew about it and didn't report it. Whoever was uh, responsible for these things and they didn't report it right away that it was happening. So, pretty tough. Yeah, that'll damage them quite badly. Three billion? I mean, that's so much money. Your your company is going to be gutted by that for a long time, probably. And this is why I'm saying what will happen is investors knowing that their money at this point is basically lost, they're going to pull their money out and uh, try to put it somewhere more lucrative while the company falls in value. And once the value has reached its peak lowest value, if you and I can buy in at that point to Wells Fargo, Hopefully, Wells Fargo wouldn't simply go out of business. They would actually recover and uh, return to being a competitive, strong bank. And you would basically be buying an undervalued stock at that point. But the people who were already invested in Wells Fargo just lost a bunch of money. See, that's 
That's the whole like gambling side of investing in the stock market. You don't know if the company's gonna do something illegal like that and be fined three billion dollars. You just kind of hope that they don't. You know what I mean? So there is there is a bit of risk whenever you're investing. Yeah, you just kind of hope that your company isn't gonna be found to have performed some kind of fraudulent activity. You know, I shouldn't have done it. I should have gone to the next level. Ah, I hit the wrong button. I was supposed to hit the, um, Foresight Slashed. I was even waiting for that roar to come out. Whoa, that was lucky it didn't hit me. Did you see? I was, like, right between it. Bruh! Oh, here we go. So are we going to get Heroics? Heroics is active. I'm not going to heal. Oh, somebody healed me, though. So Heroics and Divine Blessing together, huh? What do you guys think of that? Oh, that is a stacker. That's exactly what we were hoping for. Ah, we didn't hit him. Do the owies on his head, right? He's drooling. He's gonna be thrown into that wall. And he's got a nice job, everyone. Wow, I feel like I never have to heal with this setup, but I think also some people are playing healer. Of course, anyone can play healer with Dust of Life, but man, I'm liking it actually. I'm liking this setup. Just doesn't ever feel like I uh, am ever in that much trouble. What does heroics do? So, by the way, what's our affinity at? So it's 35. So, what does heroics do? Heroics, it activates when your health is low. And it gives you a large buff to damage and a buff to defense as well. So this means we have all these defensive skills that are meant to keep us alive. But if we were actually getting close to dying, it would be even harder for the monster to kill us. So considering we have Heroics and Divine Blessing together, when you're low on health, Super Recovery is still healing you. Uh, recovery Speed is still healing you. You have Health Regen Augmentation. You have uh, Recovery Up which I believe pairs with both Nergigante Hunger and your Health Regen Augmentation. So you should just be really hard to kill because you keep healing off of the monster. And most importantly, I'm curious how well Heroics is acting to kind of keep you alive longer. I didn't see. Did we get a Shadow Core Ore yet? How come no one carving? I mean, who needs to? <laughs> I, most players, if they're fighting arch temp, if they're fighting tempered Nergigante, they have all of his stuff already. So there's no reason to carve him anymore. Here we go. Will this show me what I got? Show me what you got. Doesn't look like I got Shadow Core Ore. Why is Shadow Core Ore so freaking rare, dude? All right, so I would like to play uh, around with Thumper World. <laughs> Uh, Thumper World helped me get back on to PlayStation. He made some pretty sizable donations to pay for, like, PlayStation Network. So we got to have some rounds together. And I went to see if I picked up Shadow Core Ore and I simply didn't notice it. Nope, still no Shadow Core Ore. Awful. <laughs> That's awful. You guys want to take a look at this build again? Here, I'll show it to you in here so it makes sense to you. 
So here's what we're running. First of all, with the weapon, uh, you know, we have sharpness increase, I guess. We've got defense increase six, which we don't need it, but I'm just like screwing around, right? We got two levels of attack increase five. We got Nergigante Essence, which is important because it's allowing us to throw on Nergigante Hunger here. For the upgrade, we have health to regen one, and obviously we can augment many more times, but we haven't done that yet. And then for the build, look, we've got Divine Blessing 5, which has always been known to be very strong. We've paired that with Health Boost. So that alone makes any build very strong. Health Boost and Divine Blessing secret. But then we've also, instead of taking attack builds, we've taken defense builds. Heroics uh, 5 is on the build if you've got the glider on. You've got Recovery Up. You've got Recovery Speed. So Recovery Up makes it so that when you're healing, you heal more. So when we're healing off of our health regen augmentation, we get actually more health than usual. And what I'm not sure about, but I would love to know more about, is if this pairs with Nergigante Hunger. I don't know if Nergigante Hunger and Recovery Up work together, but it would be interesting to know. Recovery Speed is really powerful, actually. This is one of the things I've been concluding from all this testing. Recovery Speed is kind of secretly giving you a, a lot of your red red bar health back when you're not paying attention. And so recovery speed, in my eyes, is a lot better than I've realized. Uh, crit boost, weakness exploit, those are pretty standard. We have max might because of the ruinous helm, and sometimes it actually is active because longsword, when you're using a lot of longsword's moves, you don't actually have to use stamina. Uh, agitator is what we had room for, so we just threw some agitator on. Uh, we got like one handicraft. So here are the important parts of the build though, right here. Divine Blessing Secret is on, Super Recovery is on, and Hasten Recovery is on because we're using Esophageva weapon. So all three of these. And it's just kind of like a vampire build almost. You take some damage, sure, but when you get low on health, you've got Heroics activating, and you just got all this health regen that it, it kind of is hard for you to die. The trade-off is that you're doing significantly less damage. You should have Crit Eye, and you probably should have Master's Touch and Purple Sharpness, uh, or maybe a Safajiva setup, Safajiva armor setup, but we don't. So there is definitely a trade-off. So who is Thumper World in here? Is Thumper World in here? Let's see what name he goes by. Nerg. He must go by a very different name. Oh, it's probably this one, Thump Meister. <laughs> Keolara. <sighs> Game Economist, I've got the Namiel Investigation. Sounds good. Doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. We'll get the Lucky Cat again. I don't know if Lucky Cat actually helps here. I know some vocal longtime fans of the franchise felt that world was too easy, but when Steam tells me that only 2% of players have the 100% Master Rank Monster Achievement dot dot dot. I mean, look, the games are very easy if you just put on the right skills. Health Boost, Divine Blessing Secret. It's like good game. Very easy at that point. And that's, of course, when you reach a certain point in the Guiding Lands. But even before that, you could just do regular Divine Blessing, like three levels of it. So Health Boost 3, Divine Blessing 3. And then you actually gain access to Super Recovery pretty quickly. So you could do that build pretty easily. We're testing, like, end game, health, uh, end game defensive builds. That's what we're doing, really. No offense, but my lance hits harder than- Hey, that's so offensive! You can't say that! <laughs> my lance hits harder than this! <laughs> the ultimate insult. Ooh, I should order something on DoorDash. What do you guys- What do you guys think I should order on DoorDash? I could get Pasta House, but it's like $30. I've not eaten today so far, so I gotta get some food. So what I'm thinking about doing is we'll wrap up this stream, and then we'll- have a, a Resident Evil stream for Resident Evil 6. What do you guys think of that? 
I hate Kieran because they decided to make stun and paralysis longer. Did they? If they did, I, I have to say this. You really only need like one or two levels of stun resist now anyways. Uh, and paralysis resist was a skill I pretty much always took against Kieran because it's so good against him. Kieran's most deadly thing he can do to you is essentially to paralyze you. If you happen to get paralyzed by Kieran in the middle of the fight, I mean, there's a very high chance you die. Um, so you take paralysis resist and he can't kill you that way. And then when it comes to stun, just be sure to heal up if he gets the lightning blight on you, the thunder blight. Uh, and uh, what am I trying to say next? Of course, you could take like one level of stun resist and this significantly reduces the length of you being stunned. Get Mexican, says Warren. <laughs> you guys should decide what I eat for dinner. What do you guys... Well, you guys decide what I eat for dinner, and I'll eat that. Let's grab this right here. Alright, the sales... Uh, the, the tail is softened. I guess we... Oh, nice. We just caught the tip of his tail there. What? How is that not considered in the iframe? That doesn't make sense. Alright, there's level 3. Shoop. Oh my god. Take this off real fast. We're going on the glider mantle now. That's right, throw him into that wall for us. Perfect. Don't you love it when a teammate throws the monster into the wall? The best thing that's ever happened to you, honestly. Don't lie. Don't roar, don't roar, don't roar. Oh, he's roaring. Oh good, it didn't cost my uh, ability though. One of the nice things about when a monster is flashed is even though they do keep attacking, they really use like their best move, you know? Alright, so Namiel's gonna make it very hard for Maximum Might to activa activate. Let's go ahead and have Null Berry. Oops. Darn, I was hoping we'd reach him. Did you see that? Dodge through the uh, water beam there. <sighs> I was sheathed that I just didn't release in time. Trying to keep the water blight off of you while you're fighting Naomiel is basically impossible. <laughs> like, you're just gonna waste your time healing up on the Nullberry all the time. Hey, we just got him out. I commit murder death on baby Dodagama. What? Alright. Good job on getting a softening on the head. Saw the charge plate guy doing that. <laughs> Can't see myself hardly. Oh, 
thought he was going to roar, but he didn't. Oh, I was staggered by my teammate. <laughs> damage taken reduced. And look at us, guys. So, damage taken reduced. We got all this health regen occurring, and we've got divine blessing proccing. How are you supposed to ever, you know, get, get hurt enough to die, basically? Like, look, we just got hit again, but it's not going to matter. Divine blessing proc again. And then health, rec health, I'm sorry, recovery speed along with the super recovery just brings us right back to full. So it's almost like too strong. He just can't kill us. It's really ridiculous. Let's have this Nullberry real fast. It's, it's kind of too strong. And you know, you're not supposed to take defense because everyone tells you to go offense. But you know, screw that. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put some thought and effort into putting defense builds because not everyone wants to play offense. And that's because, you know, maybe they haven't played for 4,000 hours. Maybe they're not a speedrunner who's been playing the original games their whole life. Right? For the last 15 years. There's probably plenty of people where this is their first game. Oops. A little too early on that. And they just picked up Iceborne because it was popular. So now they're like, okay, but I keep dying. <laughs> I mean, that's how I felt when I first started the game. I wasn't that good at it at all. I am now just because I put in 4,000 hours. But most people will not put 4,000 hours into this game. I even played GU, right? So whatever hours went into GU... There we go, there's level 3, and he knocks me over. Here we go. And we didn't get anything. <laughs> oh, we reflected. It's interesting. Cool. We actually just... Uh, we just perform that correctly by the way the uh, EI spear slash we just used it without oh, I must have been too early yeah we just correctly used an EI spear slash which is pretty hard to do and it's risky too we don't have flash pause right oh, I need to add flash pause to this setup so bad we we're a bit off there let's try that again Ouch. Didn't realize what he was doing. Damage taken reduced. Look at this, man. He can't kill me. It's impossible. I am unkillable. We got our mantles back. I don't think we've healed up one time. The build just doesn't take that much damage thanks to Divine Blessing. And then all the healing is just ridiculous. Is he coming back down? Did he flash him in time? He is flashed. Alright, he is coming down too. Really? He came back down and then he just immediately left. I wonder if Capcom would add a Brute Wyvern-like Elder Dragon. Fan says, using a defense build make them over-reliance on defense skills so they hardly ever actually play better. Well, you could make that case, but I think another thing also occurs. They end up trying more weapons, maybe weapons that they're not good at at all, uh, but they're more willing to give it a try because they go, all right, well, I'm not going to cause my teammates to lose if I go out and try something new because I know I have all these defensive skills. So I think that there's some good to it as well. You see what I'm saying? I don't know. When it came to defensive skills, I don't think I became over-reliant on them. They're they're more like just a stepping stone to playing with glass cannon speedrunner builds. And even then, like, it's not like the be-all, end-all of the game is that you must use glass cannon builds. Just, I think that's the whole point that I'm trying to make. Not everyone wants to play with the glass cannon build. And some people probably will prefer to just have tons of defense. Not everyone. It'll be like a, it'll be like an uncommon thing to play with a ton of defense, probably. Oh, thought that was gonna hit me. I guess not. I knew that wasn't gonna hit me. Too un, too, too close to the underneath of his neck. Did that hit me? That hit me, huh? Look at this, though. This, this guy's not even coming close to, to killing me. He's a, he's a tempered dragon too, right? This is a tempered elder dragon. And we are not even reaching the half point, really. Is he going to make it? 
Indeed he is. And so what we're going to do, is we're just going to jump right over here. <laughs> Whee! I don't even have them. <gasps> it didn't even land. Oh, he still hit me. Darn it. That's bullshit. Bruh. How's it going, Chasswood? He says, hello, defense boost 7 build when? A uh, defense boost 7 is a skill I am going to legitimately play around with soon enough. Uh, for example, we're using heroics right now, but heroics never activates because we're playing well enough and the build already has enough defense that you don't have to have. He's drooling. I was hoping that after that move we would be able to foresight slash. Okay, but take a look here. We're actually close to dying. Let's take another hit. All right, so that's heroics, and let's see what happens. Oh, yep, no, still died. Still died. Okay, well maybe if crypt, maybe if uh, divine blessing had activated there, but I think that's my point with the the build. Why we might actually consider something like defense boost is because, so. Everyone kind of agrees that Divine Blessing is super strong, but one of the problem, problems with Divine Blessing that nobody really talks about is mm -hmm. it kind of has to activate when you need it to activate. So I think if Divine Blessing had activated there, we actually would have lived through the attack, but since it did not activate, we actually died. Nice job, everyone. Since it did not activate, we actually died. And so when we're talking about being able to consistently survive attacks, Maybe skills like Heroics and Defense Boost are actually more consistent than Divine Blessing because it's not reliant on RNG for you to receive reduced damage. I don't really need carbon. Let's get up there, though. Ahid says no Heroics then. Well, maybe it's more the case that you would want both Heroics and Defense Boost 7. See what I'm saying? Heroics, Defense Boost 7. Um, maybe you would want to have... A defense augmentation on your weapon but you know a lot of the times people scoff at this because they're like you know just run more attack and get the fight done sooner uh, but we're not doing that we're looking at defense and how it works in this game can you check my build my name is Diablo uh, I don't actually like to do that I don't like to check people's builds I get asked a lot to do that in the middle of the live stream and uh, I don't want to have to do that all the time Divine Blessing lowers overall hunt damage, but is unreliable in a specific circumstance. Exactly. That's exactly what I'm saying. So overall, you don't have to heal as often because... Oh, we got it. We got Shadow Core Aura. That was it. I saw it go by. Uh, but yeah, you don't have to heal as often because often it activates. But when you're in a dangerous situation, you don't want to actually roll the dice on what you can and can't survive. But what's interesting is maybe with Defense Boost and Heroics together, we might have survived the next hit. It's hard to say, though, isn't it? You will have to know the amount of damage each attack is doing in order to know how many additional hits a monster needs in order to knock you out. The funny thing is, we actually, I believe we can fit defense boost on the build um, if we drop Agitator. Divine Blessing lowers our... Oh, I already read that. I don't like Mushroom Mancer, by the way. I see somebody saying Mushroom Mancer. <laughs> So, our, what's our defense at? Our defense is 983. Let's see if we can fit any defense boost into the build. Divine Blessing won't help with Behemoth's Ecliptic Meteor. Now, that I agree with. But also, when you think about it, a lot of the time, people don't die to the Ecliptic Meteor. A lot of lives are actually lost to just being knocked out by him. So, that too happens. Uh, we don't have the... Okay, we probably won't be testing this then. 
there's a defense boost decoration that gives you three levels of defense boost. So I would probably want to try that out on the build. And it looks like we would be able to fit one of those here. And then the other one would probably fit... I don't know, maybe somewhere like here. So to get the defense boost all the way up to level 7. Or alternatively, we could fit it into the glider mantle. Look at what defense boost does uh, for those of you who are curious. So defense boost, it scales off of your defense, which is really the only reason we're considering it at all. At level 7, you get 10% more defense. And uh, the, the bonus is okay, the bonus 35, but 10% more defense of like 983 defense, or 958 defense, is going to be, you know, quite a bit extra defense, and then you add that with the bonus. But that would be the only reason we'd consider it. When you think about it, there's not a lot of other damage reducing skills in the game. You've got health boost. This doesn't reduce damage, but what it does is it increases the knockout threshold, so it's very similar to damage reduction. Uh, but then you also have heroics. Heroics gives you defense when you're near death. You've got Divine Blessing, which is inconsistent, right? Divine Blessing, as we saw, was inconsistent. What do you really have after that? Pretty much just defense at that point. You've got defense boost, and maybe like the um, like fire resistance will give you some, a, a small amount of defense, but re oops, but really not a lot. Like, look, defense plus 10, it's not, it's not that much, actually. Hold on, let me get that mighty, mighty skill back. So, in the game... Again, this is what we discovered when Arch Temper Nur Gigante came out. We discovered there weren't actually a lot of options for reducing damage. You had Health Boost and Divine Blessing were your main options. Defense Boost didn't work that way that it does now. It, defense Boost got buffed, is what happened. And then you didn't bother with Health Regen Augmentation. I'm sorry, you didn't bother with Defense Regen... Excuse me. Defense Augmentations. You you Typically, you took Health Regen Augmentations in order to be more survivable. One thing I want to take a look at is the heroic skill. Okay, so hero somebody mentioned this earlier, and he's right. Heroics only needs to be taken to level 3 in order to max out the bonus defense it gives you. At level 3, you get 100 more points of defense. So we must be going from 950 points of defense to 1,050 points of defense. So that's what we're getting from heroics. Uh, okay, so we only need level 3 heroics. I wonder if we could just replace that with defense boost and actually put heroics gems into the build. Let's see what the defense boost charm does, actually. Oi, oi. Guard. Oh, here it is. I do own it. We don't have a Fey Wyvern gem. Let's go pick up a Fey Wyvern gem. There's like a cap of how much damage you can take. The more defense you have, the less damage it reduces. The difference between 800 defense and 1000 defense is 4% more damage. Dot, 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 dot. <laughs> Let's go ahead and meld items. I, I agree. There's also diminishing returns on your attack values too, though, is what I would say to that. So, like, you could take attack boost uh, for, alternatively, and do more damage. Uh, but it's just a... Uh, and actually, you know, like you, I actually agree with damage builds. But we're, t we're testing out defense build because we want to know what the end game for defense is. Uh, if you were to force yourself to have defense rather than offense. So you know that typically the builds I take are offensive builds with a little bit of defense mixed in. Usually health boost and divine blessing or like health boost and wide range. But we just want to know because nobody ever tests this stuff. Shar Ishvalda Tender Plate, which I don't own, and this will take us to level 6. Drop Heroics completely. I think Heroics is a waste of skill to take. If you come under 35% HP, the 100 defense will not help you in any case, says James Dice. I don't necessarily agree with that. The, the point is, everyone says that kind of stuff, and I'm not going to listen to it. I'm actually just going to build it and try it. 
it's not like 100 defense does nothing. So there we go. So our, our defense was 950. It's 1,079 now. And actually, can we can we augment for defense on the weapon? We need rubbery shell and vivid crimson bone. Yeah, everyone just kind of dismisses defense, but we're actually going to keep playing with it and keep trying it until we really know how we feel about it rather than secondhand accounts of how we should feel about it. Because one of the things I've learned so far is that recovery speed is actually kind of kind of cool to have. And I, in the future, I might actually consider it over what? Like having attack boost for? What are we looking for again? We're look Oh, right. Defense increase. <laughs> Very rare Paolumu material. Guiding lands energy fortifies the monsters living there. Bone obtained in the coral region. Okay, so... We need to be in the coral region again, I guess. We're an hour and 46 minutes in. We'll go ahead and complete that last up later. I want to actually add defense boost to our augmentations is what I, I'm interested in doing. He says, what I'm saying is that don't build for static defense too much. Build for some resistance or something like that, says fans perspective. That's true. Uh, if static defense, it's not useful enough. Uh, elemental resistance is actually a, a very powerful option for your builds. Yeah, you and I actually agree on that. Uh, we just haven't screwed around with that at all yet. Because uh, first I'm going to play with each skill and just kind of get an impression of the skill. Which is kind of why we let the monster hit us one more time when we had heroics. I think again, if Divine Blessing had activated, we would have easily survived the move. Uh, which shows you how powerful Divine Blessing is. But it didn't activate and heroics wasn't enough to save us from that last sliver of health being used up. Uh, guts would have which is another issue so maybe instead of having you know let's say uh, super recovery from Valhazak or let's say instead of having recovery up from the Nergigante set having Bowser Gu's uh, guts on the build might actually end up proving to be more powerful because of its ability to survive one last large hit see what I'm saying so all that's very interesting to me although funny enough on a Bowser Gu setup if you have too much defense uh, you'll be split into two shots on a low amount of health so you might actually make the Bowser Gu skill guts less effective if you have too much defense uh, but all of this stuff is very interesting for me all right guys let's go ahead and get the, the wave going I think what I'm going to do uh, we should do a Pokemon I'm sorry not Pokemon we're going to do a Re Resident Evil I think we're going to do a Resident Evil stream next, but the first thing I'll need to do is download it for myself and my wife. So we'll need about, probably about a half hour to get it all downloaded. Let's get a wave going. Thank you everyone for playing with me. Thank you Toxic and Thumper World uh, and all of you guys. You guys make it fun to play and to work on these builds. Uh, and uh, there will be more content in the future soon. We got Ra Raging Bracadios and we have... Furious Ray Jane coming up in early March, which really is not that far away if you think about it. It's February the 21st, so in probably a few weeks we'll have those monsters, okay? See you guys in maybe an hour. See you guys next time.